Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Hidayah. We meet again. How is it going? Are you ready for today's English lesson, Year 3, Module 5, My New House? Let's get started. Before we start, let's look at the quick list. Our pre-lesson, we are going to do vocab recap. And then we are going to do the project, Sue's House. We are going to read the story on Sue's house. And then after that, we are going to answer the questions based on the reading. And finally, we are going to find the differences between Sue's house and my house. Are you ready? Let's go. Vocab recap. So look at the picture on the left. So this one is upstairs and downstairs. So upstairs means tingkat atas and downstairs means tingkat bawah. And then look at the brown house here. This is my house. So number one, what room is this? Number one is bedroom. Number two is bathroom. Number three, living room. And number four is kitchen. What about number five? Number five is a hall. A hall. Okay, let's continue. Yes, so this is a house. Like I said just now, upstairs is tingkat atas. And then down here is downstairs. So we have a bathroom, a bedroom, another bedroom, a living room. So here is a hall. My house just now, my hall is upstairs, but in this house, the hall is downstairs. So here, downstairs and a kitchen. Outside, there is a garden. Do you know what is a garden? Do you remember? Yes, a garden is taman. Okay, let's continue. So now, we are going to read about Sue's house. You are going to listen to the CD and please read along. Are you ready? Module 5. Project. Activity 1. Read about Sue's house. My house. I live in a big house. The kitchen, the living room and the bathroom are downstairs. There are three bedrooms upstairs. My favourite room is my bedroom. It has got pink walls. There are three flowers on the wall. There's a big window next to my bed. I love my bedroom. Okay. Now, answer the questions. So... Please refer to the text that you have read just now. Number one, where is the kitchen and the living room? Downstairs. Yes, correct. Number two, how many bedrooms are there upstairs? Three. Correct. Number three, what is Sue's favorite room? Her bedroom. Correct. Number four, what is there on her bedroom's wall? Three flowers, correct. Number five, where is the window? Next to her bed, correct. Alright, so this task, answer the questions. You have to do it in your E1. Copy the questions and answer. Next, we are going to look at Sue's house versus teacher's house. We are going to look at the differences. The differences between teacher's house and Sue's house. Are you ready? The differences between Sue's house and teacher's house. So what is difference? Differences means perbezaan. So we are going to look at the differences. I've divided it into two. First one is downstairs and next one is upstairs. Okay, so let's look at Sue's house. Downstairs. 
So in Sue's house, the difference in Sue's house downstairs, there is a kitchen, living room, and bathroom. So in Sue's house downstairs, there are kitchen, living room, and bathroom. So what about my house? So downstairs here, I only have living room and kitchen. Yes, teacher's house, there is kitchen and living room downstairs. So now let's look at upstairs. In Sue's house. So there are three bedroom upstairs. There are three bedroom upstairs. Bedroom. So there are bedrooms in Sue's house. What about my house? Teacher's house. So upstairs, there are bedroom, bathroom, and a hall. So in teacher's house, there is bedroom, bathroom, and hall. Okay, so this one also you have to do in your E1. So there are two tasks. Another, The first one is answer the question. And the second one is the differences between Sue's house and teacher's house. So please do these two tasks in your E1. Okay, so please text me if you have anything to ask. That's all for today. See you in next lesson. Bye.